Why does Allah allow injustice in the world? Allah is almighty. All the bad people in the world could have become good people if he willed. If Allah willed, peace could have been established in the world in the blink of an eye. In front of Allah's eyes, people fought World War I, World War II and billions of innocent people have lost their lives. Allah could have stopped Hitler before the war started. But the question is, why didn't he do that? Why does Allah allow people to live in turmoil? Why doesn't he always intervene? In today's video, we will try to find out the answer to these questions. Inshallah, I hope you will watch the video till the end. Dear viewers, many people ask this question. If Allah is omnipotent, why doesn't he use his infinite power to stop the oppression of the strong on the weak in this world? Why doesn't he stop the deprivation of the rich on the poor? Why doesn't he stop the injustice of the ruler on the ruled? In response to this, we need to remember two things. First of all, if we study the verses of the Holy Quran about the creation of man, we find that Allah created man as his Khalifa. Khalifa means representative, which I have already explained in detail in my previous video. In other words, Allah has sent man to this world as his representative. This means that as Allah governs the entire creation by his command, it is Allah's desire that humans as his representatives govern the world. If Allah intervenes in every action and rules himself, what was the need to send a representative? Actually, Allah wants people to establish a society where no one can escape by committing a crime. That person will be punished immediately. As a result, there will be no need to send down punishment from heaven. The problem is that people are ruling the world right now, but not according to Allah's commands, rather according to their own devised systems. So, humanity is drowned in injustice. For example, Allah has forbidden usury. As his representative, we should have avoided usury and introduced a financial system where usury would not have been traded. But we abandoned the representation of Allah and accepted the interest-based financial system and now we are suffering from extreme crisis. Now, if we say that, why is not Allah sending food for the poor people from the sky? Would it be logical? Allah has given the solution. Rather, we did not obey his orders. In fact, what is going on in the world is our karma and the solution is also in our hands. Secondly, another thing to note is the challenge of Iblis. When Allah created the first man, Adam, he asked the Malais to prostrate before Adam. But Iblis did not prostrate. As a result, Allah expelled him. Right then, Iblis challenged Allah. If you drive me away because of Adam, and if you give me the power to enter the body, mind, and brain of each children of Adam, I will prove that they will disobey you. Allah accepted the challenge of Iblis. He gave Iblis the power to incite people to disobey Allah's commands. Iblis said, I will lay an ambush in the path of people and attack them from right to left and from front and behind and take them away from the straight path. In response to that, Allah said, You will have no influence on my mukhlas, that is, my sincere servants. They will not obey your command. They will obey only my commands. This was Allah's challenge with Iblis. So, it became very clear what the will of Iblis is and what is the will of Allah. In the history of mankind, for thousands of years, we can see that Iblis has always tried to lead people to the path of chaos. On the other hand, Allah has sent his messengers to guide people to the right path. But Allah himself did not destroy Iblis, nor did he force people to choose the right path. 
because if he does that then the challenge becomes meaningless it becomes futile Allah wants people to know understand and use their knowledge to make Allah victorious he wants man to prove that it was right to create man as Allah's representative and indeed man has been able to represent him in the world viewers hope i have been able to explain to you why allah does not intervene directly after seeing so much of oppression in the world if he himself does everything then what are the specialities of man allah wants to test mankind to see that i have given all my qualities in them i have even given them the way of life by which they can eradicate turmoil and injustice now let's see what does mankind do do they succumb to the plots of iblis and sink into chaos or do they live according to the commandments of allah and establish peace on earth by themselves the day mankind will be able to establish peace on earth iblis will be defeated allah will be victorious in the challenge of iblis dear audience this is what i had for you today see you again in the next video until then stay well allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh